welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to speak about the beautiful element water and all the benefits that it can bring to your life, especially as a woman. Water is an extremely important element on our planet. You can see that the majority of the planet is made out of water and interesting enough, so are we. Many new studies show that water contains memory. Once again, this is controversial, but still something extremely interesting to consider. Um, the fact that water contains memory and our bodies are composed of about 80% water, brain, lung, skin, and also taking into consideration that the gravitational force from the moon and the sun uh, directly impacts our oceans, the tides, the waves, Imagine the effect of the moon phases and how that can affect us in our daily lives. I always try to make people realize the importance of water in our lives and that to consider that humans are like grapes and what happens to a grape when it becomes dehydrated it then turns into a raisin therefore um, when your skin becomes dehydrated that's when you're much more prone to wrinkles i just wanted to give you guys these three tips as guidelines to add into your magical spells workings rituals into your daily practices um, these guidelines working with water will just help to increase the force behind your manifestations. The first one I'm going to be speaking about is my personal go-to. This one is my favorite. This one bears great results for me every time I do it. Um, it's actually a little bit freakish. Um, you know, when you're trying to perform a ritual, a spell, or any type of divination, things don't always work. Um, that moment actually most times they don't it is a waiting patient effect but when you see the results come um, it's quite extraordinary so this is called the two cup manifestation spell now each spell can be completely customized I recommend customizing it um, that's how our magic becomes strong is through our own individuality um, adding and tweaking things in a way that they feel comfortable and right to us. So um, for this spell, you'll need two cups, um, one cup empty and the other cup filled with water. Um, I'd recommend just a small cup. You wanna start to meditate your intention into the cup that's filled with water. So whatever, um, you're trying to reap, you're going to meditate those thoughts, those intentions, visualize them into the cup filled with water for as long as feels right for you. Um, so once you're ready, you're going to pour that cup with water into the other cup that was empty without any water. Now I want you to take the new cup filled with water and drink it completely. but finish it and so mode to be, say your thanks. And that is one very easy, quick little spell that you can perform at any time. Of course, I always recommend um, correlating your spells with the moon phases. This second one I would call the moon water spell. Um, so in this one, you'll also need a glass with water, um, pen, pencil with paper, and then any other magical elements that you'd like to add. So, you know, candles, herbs, crystals, etc. So, set a glass of water under a full moon for releasing and a new moon for attracting. Write down your intentions on a piece of paper, possibly in a poem if you can. So choose each word wisely. Make sure that it holds a lot of meaning behind it. Light a candle, preferably in correlation with your intentions. 
um, I'd suggest to look up candles and their magical purposes. Sit with the candle and your piece of paper with your written intentions and your glass of water and recite your intentions three times or for as many times as you choose. You may sit and visualize the outcome um, as your of your desire for as long as you wish. Uh, feel the outcome as if it is already yours. It is happening right now. End the ritual by saying thank you and if possible, smear some of the candle wax onto your paper. Uh, alternately, uh, you may use your saliva. Then sit the paper under the glass of water all night and allow it um, to be um, immersed in the water's energy field. Now in the morning, say thank you, drink the glass of water, and you may dispose of the paper, whether you bury it into the ground, uh, burn it. And the last magic spell tip I'm going to give is a water divination. So you can turn um, any object that you like uh, into a magical charm. So once again, the full moon will bind the best results for this type of um, magical charming, but of course there are always exceptions. So place a certain crystal or stone in a bowl of water on the full moon to make a divination charm. Now make sure you know that this crystal is hard enough to be able to go into water because some crystals um, are very fragile. So that's something to definitely consider. Um, you may add herbs to this bowl of water, incenses, uh, smudge it with palo santo or sage to intensify the attention and if you do research beforehand you can find out which herbs, which candles, um, which scents will help amplify my intention. Uh, so this tool may then be used to enhance any of your magical spells so whether it be some type of magical wand or a pendant, a necklace, um, the possibilities are endless, but this is definitely something you can do using water. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I really hope to see you guys all in the future so that we can go over more divination, more witchy topics, and a lot more. So I'm wishing you guys all a great week and I'll see you next time.